Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Alonzo. And today on Lisa's Craft and Creations, I'm going to teach Alonzo how to make a hot glue gun tree. Here's what you're going to need. Canvas board. Some paint brushes. Some paint. I have some black. Gold. And some green. Some gesso. A glue gun. And some glue sticks. Paper towels. And some water. So let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do first is make a tree outline with the hot glue. Put a lot of glue on there. And don't worry about the little strands of glue that's coming out because we'll be able to get those off very easily and we'll make some branches coming out seems like this is going to be really glue intensive <laughs> yes good thing about this you cannot make a mistake just putting a bunch of lines and making a tree. Ah, you make it seem so easy. I'm the expert. You are. I cannot deny that. <laughs> oh, I like your tree. That is really nice. Mine is really a craggy old tree. Wow, those are the best trees. Got so much character in them. Yeah. Like the Whomping Willow. How raggedy is that tree? And it's got so much character and flair, right? Okay. Have it come down. Make sure to do the trunk with a lot of glue and do little branches coming off. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to fill in this part here. Okay. Have any particular technique or anything for putting in the branches, or no, you just, just sort of feel your way through just it? Just putting it in, just okay. feeling the way through, just making a tree. Okay, I have lots of little strings, but that's okay. Because we had to brush those off. And I want the trunk to be nice and thick with a lot of glue on there. these glue sticks. You're going to go through a lot of them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And you should fill in more of this more. and have it coming down okay. like quarter, sort of like you know the tree, the way the with the roots comes out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for helping me out. That's uh, less artistic people have to be reminded about those simple things sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, and once you have all your little, and okay, you need to make like little scraggly, like, like little branches coming off. And I'm doing a little coming off from the side to go down on the edges just to give it some more character and make it in other branches. The bad thing about this only if you put your fingers on the hot glue. Oh yeah, I definitely lost a couple layers of fingerprints due to this hot glue. Okay. How's it going? I think it's going pretty okay. Okay, make sure the lines are kind of thick. Okay. And you need some more. Make this thicker going down. That's what you need. You want the texture so it can have the bottom part and the top layer and you see the different texture with the paint when you put it on there. So you want to give a lot of lines, make it a lot of character. Good. You need to fill in with little lines. You see the way mine is. Oh wow! Yeah. You need lots of little ones. Because the main focus is going to be on the branches that's coming out from the tree. Okay. The next step is going to be covering up the glue after it dried completely with the gesso. So you just want to take that and brush it on there. And what this does is help the paint stick to the glue. So, and don't be afraid to really just brush it on because it'll help um, take off the little pieces of glue strings. Mm -hmm. Some little music to go with the painting. Very heroic music. Well, this is a heroic tree. This is a heroic tree. Okay. Yay. Okay, as you can see, we both have our outline. 
of the tree. Woohoo! All right. So the next step is you're going to take, we're going to use the gold. This is some great gold. It's a 24 karat gold. And we're going to go ahead and put it all over, get all the little in betweens all around, and just paint that and fill that all up. Feel special working with 24 karat gold. You're a special sweetheart. So does this go down on a thin coat or a thick coat? Kind of a thick. You gotta make sure you fill everything in and cover up all the white pieces on there and all the guess so. It's gonna guarantee to look real nice afterwards. This is something you could do alone or you could do as a couple and you can even do it with older kids because of the hot glue gun. I'm going to try it with the Elmer's glue one day and see if that can work and that way I'll do one for a kids, younger kids where they can work on the tree. Because I don't want them getting burnt with the hot glue gun. Okay. How you doing? Make sure you get everything, everything, even the edges. Because you have everything, the whole board, you're covering in everything. Okay. So you're going to make sure you cover the whole thing. Make noise. Okay. This is the longest part, I think. It's coloring this all in. This all I paint when I'm sitting with you. I am still missing your paint. Ooh, I'll take some of your paint. I'm gonna have to fill up some more. I won't take my paint. That's the point for carry gold paint. some of the one in mine if you run out. Yeah, I think I'm getting uh, so I'm covering the whole whole board. Yes.
Okay, make sure you get the edges also. I have to pick up my board to do that and try not to get paint all over me. Oops, I see some white spots on mine that I'm gonna have to cover up. You really want to make sure you have everything filled in nicely. Okay, I'm picking mine up so I can get the sides all the way down. And this way I can let the top just dry a little. I'm not going to really fill in all the sides all the way. Because that is not going to be our focus. And when I put the black on there... make sure all the little nooks and crannies are filled in. And you don't see any of the white. How's it going over there? It's going pretty good if I must say so myself. Some of these little nooks and crannies that are hard to fill in with the gold. Okay, I have this all done and I'm going to let this dry completely. And as soon as this dry, we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, we're ready for the next step. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so what we did was we have some of the black paint that we poured into the little cup and we added water to it to dilute it a little bit. And you're going to need your paper towel. So what you're going to do is just add little strokes of it, the paper, um, the paint to it. And you can use, once you put some on there, enough on there, then you're going to use the paper towel to dab it a little bit to get off the extra paint. So you're going to do this until you get the color effects that you want. And it's great because the paper towel, it has little indents in it, little pattern in there. And we'll leave a nice little indents on the paint on the board. So it's pretty cool. Okay. Gives it a little bit more texture. Yes. Yeah. 
This is fun. Maybe not forget about the dad. Ooh, it looks nice already. I like it. Not bad for my first tree. Oh, you'll be able to do this on your own next time. And do a different color. I would like to try one with the purple and gold, probably. That would be pretty good. I think the silver would look nice too. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> Purple's my favorite color and gold. So I think I'll do a purple and gold. That's my favorite. was my favorite color but I think these days I'm becoming a little more partial to green okay so I'm gonna let's do a little bit more Dabbing, getting it all over. Um, do some on the sides a little. So, and I think I used that napkin up enough. And we'll go on to my next napkin. Okay. Woo! Oh, it's over I don't want to paint yours. Mistake. have a covering for your table this table have lots of paint and glue on it from doing artwork and not covering in it but it gives it a little character I think I think so too I think the table's gonna do a lot with this Well, this is looking pretty cool, I think. I love it. This is gonna be in one of my favorite pieces of art. Hmm. I'm gonna to have to try and adapt this for kids with the Elmer's glue so they could just pour that on somehow. And I think the kids would really love doing this project because it's not too hard so I think that's going to be my next mission is to figure out how to squeeze the glue on there to do the tree okay and this wasn't too long to get this done make sure you get your sides okay. okay you're going to continue just putting it on the paint on the canvas and till you get the effect that you want some spots can be a little bit darker some lighter I think I want my sort of my edges to be a little bit darker. I think it's looking pretty good. I love how it like looks older. By the way, the uh, padding 
gives it that kind of that texture. This is real good texture. Ooh, this is cool. This is really cool. I think the next one's gonna be a really, really big one. About how big you think? It's big. Big. I don't know the size. Just big. <laughs> You'll know when you see it. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll take some more paint off and give it that texture. I don't want it too dark because I still have to put on the green and if you make it too dark that's not gonna and let me get my sides. You might need to use another paper towel because that one's pretty painted on. Yes. And you don't want it to be too dark. Okay. So make sure you have some spaces where the gold is coming through, yeah. especially down in here. And then make sure you get your sides. Okay, pick it up carefully. I don't want to get paint all over me. I'm just going to do the sides. I'm not going to um, pack the sides at all because the focus is going to be in the front. And I think I'll just put a little too much on the right in here. Hmm. Give me a little water because I really don't want this that dark down in here. I want the contrast to the tree to be a little bit darker in the tree. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of water on the canvas where I want to take away some of the black and whiten it. I want the gold to be shining through a whole lot because it will give it that contrast. Okay, so I'm going to use the water a little bit more to go around to take off a lot of the black. I just put a little too much, I think, and then pat it off in time and it dried a little. So let me do here. It's got a little too much black, I think. I think mine might be a little dark too. You should hand me the water and we can yes. help me take some of that off. Okay. Do you need another paper towel? I definitely need another paper towel. Yes. Okay, and I think that's going to be it with me. And what I'm going to have to do is let it dry completely. If you have one of those craft dryers or blow dryers, you can help speed it up a bit. So I'm going to let this dry completely. Then we're going to come back and do the last step. Okay, it has dried and this is what it, they look like this one's mine this one's mine so what we're going to do next you can actually stop here if you like it but we're going to put some green 
and I have some forest green and what we're going to do is put some green on there to make it more like a moss or fun guy. I'm being silly. So you're going to go ahead this water down. So you're just going to add that just like you did the black and then kind of wipe it off a little. So add that on. These are actually turning out way better than I thought. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's not too hard to do. What do you think? I agree. It's pretty easy. Even for a beginner, you could get right in there and, and do something that looks really nice. Just a little bit of time. So if you have a little bit of time, want to sit down. I would say get a little champagne and sit down one evening and have a nice little art class together. Yes, this is a great uh, date night project right here if I do say so myself. Just a little bit of time and a little bit of paint, a little bit of champagne like she said, you have a great night. And you can give nice gifts to other people and they'll be really shocked if you're not artsy if you consider yourself not artsy so you can give this to a person family friend and it's personal it's a nice personal gift yes because no matter how many people do it there will never be one just like the one that you did they're all unique and they're all different so they're all special when you give a gift like this Okay, get some in the middle here. Make it look like a little moss is growing. And my fun guy. <laughs> I think the green really makes it pop just a little bit more. Just gives it so much extra detail and texture, I think. I'll just say the green is cool. Green is cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Woo! I am really liking this. I can just imagine doing a way bigger one. They go on the wall, interest way, or just having it in a room. I love trees, by the way. I'm a tree person. I do all kind of artwork with trees. I like taking pictures of trees, being around trees, climbing trees. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> But I did, as a child, climb lots of trees and fell out lots of trees. But it was fun. And if I could get up a tree, I would do that. Well, I think that painting a tree like this is pretty close, I think, right? Nah. Nice big tree in the living room. You could nah. Imagine. I want to be able to climb up the tree. Now, my dream is to have a tree house. One of those big ones before I get too old to be able to get up it. So, that would be so great to live in a tree house. I think I'll have to find one for vacation. Ooh, vacation tree house. Don't seem a little scary looking out uh, from all of those heights. Nope, not at all. As long as I don't sleepwalk, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, we'll keep the guard rules on then. 
Okay, I'm starting to really like mine. I think I'm going to just do some more on the little tree. I really love yours. That is really nice. Thank you. I like the branches on yours. Got really, really good flow on those branches. And I think I should probably put the paintbrush down before I overgreen my green. Yes. That's the problem. You don't want to overdo it. I think I kind of went a little crazy on the green. And I'm going to just get some water and wipe off a little. But the good thing is, you know, if you need to, you can put some more colors. Like, I think I'm going to just get a little gold, just a little. If I can squeeze just a little. Boom, just a little. And what I'm going to do is put a little gold, let's brush a little gold so I can have the gold pop out just a little bit more on mine. And I think you're done, you said? Yeah, I think I'm done. You want to show yours? Oh, that's what it looks like his tree and it's really nice yep not a bad first tree I feel like a real artist now okay I'm just gonna I'm brushing some gold on mine because I want the gold to come out a little bit more so that's my preference um, you don't have to do this step. Like I said before, you can stop at the black if you want. Um, it still looks so fantastic. But I just want a little bit more of the gold. So I think that's about it. Okay. So... Let me show mine and this is how it looks and mine I put a little extra gold and this is Alonzo's his I think they came out quite well um, it was fun it don't take much time at all if especially if you use the little heat gun to help dry it faster so if you want to get it done all in one afternoon, it will take only a few minutes with the heat gun and you can go straight on to the next step. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like. If you have any questions, please put a question down and I will definitely get back to you. And I hope you have fun and looking forward to doing another video on some great artwork. Goodbye. Bye.